sorry, Dorian. I'd love to sit and chat, but I gotta go. No, you don't. Do have to You're go. not taking a step out of this house until you tell me what's going on with well, Tom. What is the big deal? What's the, I come back from my honeymoon and I find out that Kelly has inexplicably been charmed by Drew Buchanan. At least I thought that you were fine, that you had your wits about you, that your ex-husband wasn't stirring up trouble. Well, it's nothing. Nothing except... Well, it's just... Todd's new obsession, that's all. With what? Nailing Bo for the murder of Georgie Phillips. Well, that's reasonable. Dorian, given how much Todd hates Bo... But what was that tone you were using on the phone with him just a little while ago? Hmm? Hmm? What tone? The tone... The tone you were using, using sounded idiot. accusatory, and don't tell me it wasn't. not sounding accusatory. That wasn't anything. Claire, I'm gonna get you to know, know what happens always. whenever you start lying. You are the one that's accusing. I haven't done anything. You just bet I, I am. I am not. Hey, Max, come on in. Hello, Dorian. Hello, Max. We will pick up this conversation later, young lady. Okay. Good night. Young lady? Hello, Taya. Dorian. Dorian. Thank you very much for agreeing to meet me. And why wouldn't I? Oh, I thought we got off on the wrong foot at Kevin and Cassie's house. Oh, that's water under the mill house. Besides, I know enough not to let your imperiousness rile me. My imperiousness. If I remember correctly, and I do, you were trying to tell your own daughter how to redecorate her own house. What daughter doesn't need her mother's advice when setting up a new home? This is hardly Cassie's first house. Or, I might add, her first marriage. Hmm. Oh, boy. This uh, new friendship of ours is going to require a bit of dexterity on both of our parts, isn't it? Yes, I suppose it will. But what the heck, right? You and I have been through so much, we could probably juggle live snakes and kitchen knives with our eyes closed. After what we've been through, knives and snakes would be a pleasure. Okay, so why don't we just move right along to the next potentially lethal juggling act. Our children's wedding. Oh, goody. Okay, before we do that, and before I change my mind, I would like to invite you to Jessica's graduation party, which is being held here tomorrow night. Why, thank you for that gracious invitation. I would love to come. Good. Jessica has always been one Buchanan I felt quite close to. As a matter of fact, she feels that way about me because why else would she have confided her feelings or confusion about her relationship with Christiane? Good, I'm glad you're going to come. Good, and I hope that Kelly will be there, too. I don't know about that. Is Drew coming? Drew? I doubt it. I guess you haven't heard. Murderer. Well, it doesn't surprise me. You're tossing this off rather lightly, aren't you? He tried to extort real estate from me when he was Ace's enforcer during his last stint here in Landview. He... He created an awful rift between, between Kelly and Joey, and I knew that he was destined to do even more terrible things. Well, I find it all rather sad. Too sad to hang on to any past resentment. Oh, Vicky, don't tell me you feel sorry for him. Oh, come on, Dorian, a girl is dead. And Drew's life might just as well be over if, in fact, he did kill Georgie. Oh, I have no doubts that he didn't. It's like heaven that it all came out now before Kelly could fall under his spell once again. Have you ever thought how lucky you are? Often. What exactly are you referring to? Your sons are not true Buchanans. And they're Joe Riley's children. They bear the Buchanan name, but not the genetic imprint, or should I say liability. I think you ought to go back to drinking Clarence's tea. I'm serious, Vicky. If it were not for that genetic fact, I would be terribly worried about Cassie and Kelly's very lives. Now, as for Jessica, well, she is a female and such a darling that I'm sure you don't need to be concerned about her. But Drew? He's practically a clone of Asa himself. You talk about your bad seeds. I mean, what if he gets off and, and decides to make a play for Kelly again? What then? Well, that would be up to Kelly, wouldn't it? 
It most certainly won't be. I'll see her locked away in a convent first. Dorian! Dorian, when are you going to learn that you cannot choose which men your daughter and your niece pick? Oh? Who says? Isn't it bizarre enough I've just had a friendly little social drink with Vicky? Now this? Yes, okay? For the last time. I am not going to let you throw all this money at Drew Buchanan. Why? It's my money. Yes, indeed it is. It's your inheritance from Ian. And he wanted you to do whatever you wanted to do with it. But Drew's family has all the money in the world. Why don't you let them pay for his defense? <laughs> That's what I keep trying to tell her. I mean, who is this guy to This you? is a friend, okay? A friend in trouble. Well, you know what he is to me? A big, fat zero. I, I am not going to let you help him buy his freedom. He didn't do it, okay? He didn't do it. Man of many talents. He's an ace reporter, he's a first-rate editor, and he's a pretty darn good wedding facilitator. Yeah, well, only if the wedding's happening here. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Listen, I hope you and Cassie are happy, wherever you tie the knot. As happy as Dorian and I. Mm -hmm. Hey, how are you? I can't imagine being happier than I am right now. Oh, man. <laughs> who is this gorgeous woman who's oh, looking Oh, don't tell me you've forgotten already. Not till last night, not bloody likely. It was divine, wasn't it? Hello, Mother. Hello, sweetheart. Marriage is absolute heaven. I highly recommend it, even if it is to a Buchanan. <laughs> and to think I almost let this amorous Olympian get away. Excuse me, Mother, but I don't really want the details. Mm, I brought your tuxedo. Oh, I see. Say, so, you know what? The presses are rolling. Mm -hmm. Let's go put on our fancy duds and go party, all right? Come on. Good. Bye. See Bye. you later, Mom. Mom? I mean, uh, Kevin's in kind of a dangerous mood. He's in a good mood, probably because of Cassie. Maybe he is one of the good guys after all. Well, why don't you ask Vicky that tomorrow when Kevin's headline hits the streets? I promised Todd that that story would not appear in print. Besides, what is the big deal? So the man paid for the girl's funeral. What, is that a crime? We all think of that girl as a monster, don't we? The way most people think about Todd. Maybe he has some inkling of the pain that she must have been in. Mel, I heard about your wedding. Congratulations thank and you. best wishes to the bride. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so young, so sweet, so virginal. I remember when I was virginal. Of course, I also remember cavemen and dinosaurs. <sighs> turning out to be more fun than I expected. <laughs> Dorian. Oh, Kelly, don't worry about me. Didn't you promise me, though, that on my deathbed that you'd lighten up? And why did I see you allow Joey to waltz off into the night with that nurse person? Uh, Barbara, honey. Your name is Barbara. Whatever. I don't trust her. Honey, don't tell me you're going to throw Joey over for Drew. Please. My feelings for Drew are completely different than my feelings for Joey. Which means what? That I have changed a lot this year, and so has Drew. And that's what's forcing the two of you together? Maybe. That's not good enough. Excuse me, Kelly. 